Welcome to Arts Enrichment with Mrs. Martin. Today we're going to get our inspiration from Vincent van Gogh and the chairs that he painted. This one is called uh, Gauguin's chair. Notice it has a lot of texture and color and the shape of the chair gives it a kind of a motion. Here's a student example. It's really well done in watercolor and fine sharpie. So we're going to start off by drawing two parallel lines. And this is going to be the back of the chair. And we're just going to round the top and come back down again. And then we're going to make the ladder of the chair, the back of the chair, by making arches. So we're going to make three arches for the back of the chair. Now we're going to make the seat of the chair. So the seat of a chair is really a box shape. So first we're going to draw a trapezoid and we're going to off-center the, the front of the chair from the back to make that trapezoid shape. And another thing is that the back on this chair, the front should be a little wider make it look more like Vincent van Gogh's chair. So here, there's our trapezoid shape. And now we're going to divide the seat of the chair into four triangles. Because this is a woven straw chair. And then we're going to make a very shallow ellipse or oval in the front and, and start making our legs. So make sure that your legs are parallel to the back of the chair. There's going to be, you can start to see that box shape. There will be a leg that you could just barely see in the back. And here's another leg in the front. And they're kind of rounded. So now we can do the texture of the straw seat. And we need to have all the straw going one direction towards the center from the edge in each triangle. You can even make the ends a little bit rounded to show that it rounds around the chair. Okay, make sure that those, those little curves there in the back where the seat meets the, the back of the chair. All right, and now we can kind of soften the edges around the seat because it's kind of roundish. So there you have your chair. And now we can put that chair in a room you can decorate it however you want, with a rug, a window, maybe. You can go over this in Sharpie and watercolor, or you can color it in with colored pencils. And actually, you don't even have to do Van Gogh's chair. You could do a chair in your house. That might be fun just to do your own room or a chair in your kitchen or in your room. It's up to you. So I've got another chair that I did in colored pencil. Hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you.